All right, nation, really appreciate you all. Thank you all for tuning in. We're going to talk a little bit about Jermaine's Olawale. I do know, I understand that a lot of people don't like Jermaine's Olawale. But the reality of it is that he was misused. I think that the guy can't catch. I do know that the two highlights that everybody's going to bring up, everybody, mama, uncle, cousin, is going to bring up the fact that he did drop the ball a couple of years ago when we played against the Colts. Everybody, mama, uncle, cousin, are also going to talk about the pass that he didn't look for against the Minnesota Vikings. But I will say, dare I say, that Jermaine Olawale was a product of being misused. It, it's just the reality of it. He's not a blocking fullback. He's finesse. I've been telling people that for a minute. He's finesse. And there's nothing wrong with being finesse, right? Shout out to you, Devon, man. Really appreciate you. Thank you for so much for tuning in to the nation. So, when we look at Jamez Olawale, he's a hybrid guy. I'm looking at it from what Mike McCarthy is thinking. He's probably looking at the situation, whereas we do have, dare I say, a Blake Jarwin. So when you start thinking about a Blake Jarwin, who you can compare or pick him up with that can complement his particular skill set, and it could be a Jameez Olawale, but not just that. You can also let this thing look out, and then you can also pick him up, and then also you can look at it like, hey, can I trade? <laughs> with a contract for a contract, yes, is Dak going to sign? Here's the thing. We have yet to hear from Dak Prescott Camp. On top of that, when we start talking about Dakota <laughs> Prescott, my thing is, let this thing play out. Let this CBA, the collective bargain agreement that everybody know that you can have more money on it, but you don't want to sign too soon. So what I can say is, with this all being said, is that we just have to take our time with this process because everybody know that the NFL offseason is long, for one. And on top of that, the draft is right around the corner. We need to see who we're going to sign as it relates to free agency. I think that this team is going to do a little bit more soul searching. They're going to do a little bit more researching than what they did in the previous years. And we're going to figure out how to get this thing done. Jack Jackson, is it Jack Jackson? Really appreciate you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Cooper going to get signed first. <clears throat> they need to sign Cooper, though. Boy, oh boy, they need to sign Cooper. Uh, I think Cooper played 25 games. With Dak Prescott and Cooper played 25 games together. And by putting those numbers together, there's an excerpt out there that they are number three in the collective NFL body. The continuity is something special. Continuity, <laughs> report, all of that stuff comes together. And in order for this thing to work out and be out and be ready, you got to work together in order to grow this thing. And my thing is, uh, you don't want to play around with that. You don't. You definitely don't want to play around with, oh, let's just test something else out and it will work. Football don't work that way. It don't. Shout out to you, Michael, man. So my thing is, Cowboys, we've been saying this for a minute now. We have to figure out ways to get this team on the same page and be ready because the Washington team, they're not playing around with it. <laughs> The Eagles, oh, cry, Eagles, cry. We know they ain't playing around with it. <laughs> also, those Giants team, of course, we can say what we want to say with it, but nobody is going back and forth like the Dallas Cowboys is right now. Look, we got five games for this preseason. Yes, it sounds good. I know a lot of people ready for this preseason to play in the Hall of Fame preseason. I got a phone call, so I got locked off. But we got we playing the Hall of Fame preseason, so that give us more games, more games to play. So it's always a, a fickle process when you have that many games because you really don't know when the dress rehearsal will be. But I will say this, Cowboy Nation, for those who can hear me, I will say this. When you have more games, you can evaluate your players a little bit better. Meaning that when you look at the total picture of what we're trying to do as it relates to the Dallas Cowboys, when you bring in a new coach, trying to understand what, what makes everything work, is this right here, Cowboy Nation. Is that the moment, and I'm going to say this again, the moment 
we look at this big picture of what the Cowboys can do and what they can't do, we should have a good grasp of this team. So when I say this Dallas Cowboys team should be locked, loaded, and ready, we have to get everybody on the same page. I'm going to repeat, we got to get everybody on the same page. In order for that to happen, in order for that to happen, we have to bring in the right type of players. And I ain't talking about the RKGs, right kind of guys. I'm talking about Mike McCarthy type of guys. <laughs> uh, this is my Mr. Wright, Antoine, what's good with your family? He said, do you know what corpse, uh, what, was, what you saying, man? Repeat, let me see. You have uh, our comp picks. I don't know who we're going to get for comp. I definitely don't know. <laughs> hey, Jameez Olawale, I'm going to say again, Jameez Olawale. <laughs> he will be a better player in this particular system now that we have Mike McCarthy. Think about this. I want people to go back and, and look at the players as it relates to fullback and tight ends that Mike McCarthy coached up. And we will see that this guy knows how to utilize those big boys. Is Jameez Olawale a catching tight end, a catching fullback? Yes. He's a great runner after the ball too. So my thing is we, we will figure this out. Um, yes, Mr. Wright, we will have my brother from another mother, no other. <laughs> Anthony Brown back into the fold. I think that they're going to re-sign him. Uh, on top of that, we do know that Anthony Brown is no, uh, what's this kid name? Lewis. We know that he's no Lewis, you know, Jordan Hip Pocket. But, but my thing is, I, I look at it, yes, Chris Richard kind of dropped the ball on that. But I will say this. Let's figure this thing out when we bring in this new, I'm gonna talk about this again, this new defensive philosophy. Let everything for what we did the previous five years, the previous 10 years, let's just stop looking at it from those angles and look at this team for what it is. This is a whole new team. Think about it, they terraform. They terraform the entire defense. The only person they kept was Leon Lett. That's the only person they kept was Leon Lett. Let that sink into your mental. Leon Lett was the only guy they kept. Everybody else knew, knew as it relates to the coaching staff. So whatever we thought, whatever we were thinking, last year is gone. On the offensive side of the ball, Kelly Moore, yes, he will be learning from what Mike McCarthy is installing, but this offense will be totally different. Yes, there will be some vertical concepts, but this will primarily be the West Coast offense infused with the left-handed wander, Kelly Moore, Cowboy Nation. I like this ideal. I can't stress this out enough. We just need to go ahead and sign Dak Prescott, sign Amari Cooper, sign whoever else we need to sign and get this ball rolling in the right direction. Here's why I say this. I cannot say this enough, but here's why I say this. Think about it. Just think about it. If Dak Prescott played the way he was playing with a Jason Garrett, close your eyes and imagine what he would do with a Mike McCartney. <laughs> I can't make this stuff up, man. I understand. I'm going to step back. I understand that a lot of people feeling like, hey, come on, Law. Dak is not the answer. I'm going to say this. You say Dak Prescott is not the answer. So are you inclining? Are you leaning on? Are you telling me that Jason Garrett was? You saying that Jason Garrett was the answer? Can't say this enough. We knew what the problem was before Dak Prescott even put on a jersey. And this is not even a Dak Prescott video. We're talking about Jameez Olawale. I can't stress this out enough, Cowboy Nation. Let's continue to grind, baby. Uh, sound like an old style. This is a new, new passing game now. Mm -hmm. Look, 
we say that this is a passing game, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna inform you guys. Just hear me out. I know a lot of people ready to say this. Just hear me out. We love what Patrick, Patrick Mahomes brought to the table for the Kansas City Chiefs, but he would not have a ring if that running back didn't run the way he ran and that defense didn't step up the way they stepped up. Turnovers and takeaways, of course. Pat Mahomes can throw the rock. On top of that, you can look at the 49ers. They ran the ball. I'm going to repeat. Shout out to you, Terry. Terry Lee for, the, for, for joining the sponsorship, one of the sponsors for this hour. Really appreciate you, Terry. Those teams needed a collective body of work. Trust me, I already know that Pat Mahomes is a nasty thrower of the ball, nasty in a good way. But look back at that Super Bowl and let me know what the William kid was able to do. He was able to run the rock. I'm telling you, that kid don't have nothing. That kid, as much as everybody praises Pat Mahomes, as it relates to Pat Mahomes versus a Dak Prescott, and they said that, okay, Dak Prescott is light years behind a Pat Mahomes. We can flip that same argument. The William kid in Ezekiel, the main man, Elliot. That kid, William, although he did his job or whatever his name is over there in Kansas City, he's no Ezekiel Elliott. Let that sink in. So now that Ezekiel Elliott got a true coach behind the system, and I know that a lot of people say, hey, wait a minute, wait a minute, Mike McCarthy is a passing coach. No, Mike McCarthy is a football's coach. And watch Ezekiel Elliott. He's already training out there in the sun. He already looked like he lost about 10 to 15 pounds. The path of the righteous man is beset on all sides by the iniquities of the selfish and the tyranny of evil men. But blessed is he that is in the name of it. Charity and goodwill separate the weak from the darkness, baby. I'm telling you, that Ezekiel Elliott, boy, he's going to be medieval this year. He was medieval last year. But when he got the hot hand, the hot feet, you're going to see that this coaching staff is not going to fold up. They're going to also add in a Tony Pollard. A Tony P, are you with me? Boy, always a lady. Shout out to you. Always a lady. I'm telling you. Late night hype tonight going to be hype. Me, Big Game James, my guy Skywalker Steel. Everything else remained the same with Big Game James. Although I'm out of pocket, I'm all the way out here in Natchez, Mississippi, but we still holding it down in the dungeon as we get down, baby. You know we're going to talk Cowboys to the, to the, from the womb to the tomb, baby. We talking these Dallas Cowboys. I really appreciate you all. Let's continue to grind, baby. Jamez Olawale. I do know that a lot of people don't like the brother because he dropped the ball at the Colts. He also dropped the ball and didn't turn around for the ball when we played against the Minnesota Vikings. He was turning around looking. He couldn't even get there. Wasn't as effective. But to because it's a pass happy last year, we were trying to make Dak prove something to the team. This is all Antoine. I think... I think that Dak Prescott just became better. I don't think that it was just the uh, necessary of, of them trying to prove something. I think that last year, Dak Prescott had a better snap of the ball. He stepped up through his throws. He had a better reading. He anticipated throws better. I want Dak Prescott, and this is my objectivity, I want Dak Prescott to throw the ball better as it relates to fade balls. On top of that, we saw the growth parameters of their I say of Michael Gallup, but I have to talk about Dak in these situations. I want Dak to play with a clear mind. I want Dak to play with the mindset that, hey, I'm already got my contract, I already got my money. So when I slide it, when I try to get this first down, I'm not worried about snapping up something and all of a sudden they're not paying me. You say, I want Dak Prescott to play with that type of mindset. In order for him to play with that type of mindset, Cowboy Nation, he got to pay the brother. That's just the reality of it. Look, I know a lot of people <laughs> that think that when you pay, playing out there on the field and if you don't got that money, secure, secure money, one play, you'll be gone. You ain't going to play busting your chops off 
and sitting there saying to yourself, I know that the money can come based off the words of an owner. No, 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 no. If you think I'm lying, <laughs> boy, <laughs> I don't know where you come from. I can't lie to kick it with you all. I guarantee you Ryan Sager, although that's one organization that paid him out his final contract or what have you, but he would never make the amount of money that he would, he would make off the contract that he was playing under if he never got injured, you see. Let that sink in. Football can be gone like that. It's a grimish type of sport. You get injured, they look at you, and they say, well, it's time to move on to somebody else. You got to secure your future. That's why players want this guaranteed money. Josh Norman is trash at 52 year old and running 4.7. Shout out to you, man. Uh, who's this? Who's this? My guy, Fred Wood. What's good, man? Shout out to you. Shout out to you, Jet D, man. Thank you so much. Next time I'm in Maryland, Jet D, I'm gonna have to hit you up. Um, my guy, Mark Holmes. I should be back down there in I guess, I guess about two more weeks. So hit up Mark Holmes, man. We're supposed to be doing something on that Saturday, Jet D. So I uh, want to check check out your brisket. I heard you make some good brisket. So I'll be back down that way, man. Uh, Cowboy Nation, I've stole enough of your time. I really appreciate you all. Thank you all for tuning in to the nation. Shout out to Jamez Olawale. I can't wait for him to be in his new system. Shout out to everybody, man. I really love you all, man. FL, really appreciate you. <laughs> Let's go, Cowboy Nation. Let's go. Shout out to my guy michael gallup and let's go ahead and pay amari cooper pay the man pl what's good boy <laughs> coming through pl you're listening to nothing but the best yes let's go salute y'all be ready for that late night hype tonight baby let's go jet d said pay the man p -p -p pay the man yeah <laughs> let's go